oh dear. Fans of the TV program For the Love of Dogs were left switching off within minutes when the new series aired, after being faced with this morning's Alison Hammond, claiming that she was the wrong replacement for the beloved late Paul O'Grady. Paul presented the heartwarming show from 2012, up until he passed away in 2023, leaving fans of the comedian and the show heartbroken. Just months after his death, Alison Hammond was announced as Paul O'Grady's replacement on the show and fans of the show were left furious at the signing, making their feelings known on social media, with many threatening to boycott the series. In the first episode, Alison Hammond was seen bottle-feeding a three-day-old puppy, who was found abandoned in a bin, met a toy-obsessed terrier in training to be a sniffer dog, and fell head over heels for Nelly, a spaniel with a rare eye condition. However, whilst Hammond looked to be doing her best to carry on the legacy Paul O'Grady had built and left behind, fans of the show were quick to criticize. One fan complained, loved seeing Battersea dogs and all Paul did. Won't be watching for the love of dogs and ITV's hire of overexposed Alison Hammond. Another wrote, reading she'll be putting her own stamp on show, and zero experience with dogs, has not changed my mind. Just another job. A third added, Gonna take a bit of getting used to without Paul, before another disgruntled person penned. How can ITV justify replacing the wonderful Paul O'Grady with the loud-mouthed Alison Hammond? Another fan exclaimed, It still beggars belief that these people who hired Alison thought she'd be the one to fill the impossibly big shoes of our Paul. He didn't deserve this. And the comments kept coming, with another person writing, I don't think I can sit through an hour of this, with someone else adding tried to watch for the love of dogs, but had to switch over. One fan though, was keen to give Alison the benefit of the doubt, writing, not a fan of Alison Hammond, but I'll wait until I've watched for the love of dogs to voice my opinion. But, not all viewers were left unimpressed with Alison Hammond's new role, as one said, no one will ever be Paul but he would want the show to live on and keep fighting for these animals. Give Alison a chance and be grateful she's keeping this show going. Alison hit back at the negative comments she received ahead of her debut and said, I was actually surprised with how much I got for doing the show. Hum, is she talking about the negative comments, or her pay packet? We digress. Alison continued, I could understand in the sense that Paul was so loved, and people were saying, how can she do love of dogs when she doesn't have a dog? How does she love dogs when she doesn't have a dog? It's like saying, how can you love children when you haven't got kids? If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Ouch, it looks like it's all getting a bit too much for Alison. Could she regret attempting to fill Paul O'Grady's much-loved shoes? She continued, that's what I would say to those trolls, don't watch it then. If you don't want to help Battersea, don't watch it. Trolls will be trolls and I'll still do what I do best, which is TV presenting, and you'll see for yourself, I think it's authentic and I love doing it. Trolls are trolls, it says more about them than it does me. Really. I would never troll anybody, even if I thought it, I wouldn't go online and put it down. Alison Hammond first shot to fame when she appeared on Big Brother in 2002, as we've said before, didn't they all? Josie Gibson is another ex-contestant who also seems to be continuously thrust into our faces. It really does make one wonder if Big Brother is some kind of introduction to television school, doesn't it? Yes. Like them or loathe them, former Big Brother stars look set to stay for the foreseeable, and Alison Hammond appears to be lapping it all up. Not only has she bagged one of the most coveted jobs presenting the very special show for the love of dogs, she's apparently bagged herself a Russian model to boot. Alison's love life has been somewhat of a car crash over the last few years, but it looks like she's hoping to change that by dating a man 20 years her junior. Somehow. We have a feeling, it will all end in tears. Yes. Alison Hammond is going out with none other than a Russian masseur after first hinting at finding love last year. Well, perhaps he'll come in handy after all those aching muscles following a hard day's work on for the love of dogs. We jest of course. The TV presenter, who previously spoke out about a plot against her when she was blackmailed by a friend, apparently has a new lease of life with her new man, a hunky 6 foot 10 inch model, who has shared a slew of shirtless photos to social media. How charming. The man, called David Putman, shared the modeling shots on his own Instagram where Alison's This Morning co-star and close friend Josie Gibson is among his followers. David is thought to be around 20 years younger than Alison, who is 49, and she is said to be happier than ever with her new partner following a turbulent love life. 
Allison has also been seen commenting on David's posts as she left a love heart eye emoji on one of his recent uploads. The media personality gave her approval to the video as he filmed himself exploring London. David has family in Brighton and is also proud of his Russian heritage and has previously posed in national dress while competing in youth choirs. The model, thought to be in his mid-twenties, studied as a massage therapist and offered classic, lymphatic drainage, anti-cellulite wraps and facial massage. He regularly shares posts from his travels online and recently enjoyed trips to Paris and Rome. And Alison recently shared snaps of the pair together on social media including one where they had their arms wrapped around each other on a country walk. Alison hinted at their growing relationship back in November when she liked David's post documenting a trip to Dublin. A source said, Alison has never been happier. She has had a turbulent love life, but is finally confident she has found a trusted companion. Last September, Alison Hammond hinted she had a new secret boyfriend after sharing a cryptic confession during Loose Women Live. A presenter joined her fellow ITV daytime hosts during their appearance at the London Palladium and the panel was made up of Christine Lampard, Denise Welsh, Brenda Edwards, Linda Robson and Janet Street Porter. During the show, Christine asked, who's having the most jiggy jigs? Alison then said, how's Birmingham doing? I reckon we're up there, I really do. She then cheekily added, well I am. Alison's confession came after she admitted she is finally ready to settle down after years of getting cold feet in past relationships. She revealed she has always been scared of commitment, but is now ready to tie the knot if Mr. Wright comes along. Alison was previously engaged to cab driver Naredine Buffade, the father of her son Aidan, 19, but claimed she wasn't ready for marriage at the time. Alison also dated landscape gardener Ben Hawkins for two years, before their split earlier this year. Speaking to Giles Brandreth in an episode of his podcast Rosebud, Alison explained that she loves her own company and believes that's why she struggles in relationships. She said, I think that's why I struggle in relationships, because I don't want somebody around me all the time. I absolutely love being on my own. I'm okay with it. I've never felt lonely. I think as soon as I hear the word marriage I get cold feet. I think I'm just one of those people. I always, not think there's something better, but I always get a bit nervous to know that is it. I just feel like I'm tied down and I don't like it, when really and truly, I'm getting to that age now where I think Alison, let go, it's okay to settle down, interesting. We get the feeling Alison Hammond is still experiencing her fear of commitment. Is the young Russian model David Putman really marriage material? Somehow, we very much doubt it. Check out our channel for more journeys through the blinker hole, and keep up to date with the latest news and entertainment straight to your device, for free. No membership fees, no merchandise and no links. Just sit back and enjoy, for entertainment purposes only.